Hey everyone, my name is Andrew with Pertz Bike Rental. Today we're going to be featuring our thoughts on our Polygon Cascade 4. Um, just some overview of what we think about it, some things and some features that we really like about the bike and something to look forward to if you're interested in purchasing this bike or if you're in the Twin Falls area and you wanted to ride with us. We have three locations that we deliver to at the Snake River Canyon Rim. Augur Falls, which is a dirt trail network, as well as the Pole Line Trailhead, which puts you closer to Evil Knievel and Shoshone Falls. So a couple things that we really like about this bike is first of all, it's built by Polygon. Uh, for those of you that don't know about Polygon, Polygon is a very high quality, reputable brand that has a huge diversity as far as discipline and bikes, all the way from our 20 inch Polygon Relic, all the way up to, you know, the Mount Bromo e-bike. And we have the Cascade 4, and the Cascade 4 is a great option for those that are looking to get into biking. Um, but going back to Polygon, one of the main things that we really appreciate about Polygon is the fact that they are a company that controls all of the bike in itself. So they do the design as well as own their own manufacturing facilities. A lot of people are unaware, but they build privately for some other brands, which is pretty common in the bike industry for one company to have the uh, frame designed in California and then built in Indonesia, for example. So we're really happy that they do all that. Um, in addition, one thing that a lot of a lot of people are unaware of during the pandemic is they they had a shortage, but not necessarily like what some of the other brands were seeing. So I think this is kind of the perfect opportunity for Polygon to be positioned to get to the market and really show what they're made of. So the Cascade 4, uh, some of the things that make it a great value, uh, simple fact that it's 27.5 wheels, which is a good standard. If you're afraid to go to that 29 inch wheel, you feel like it's too big, or you're just breaking the rust off of getting out of a 26 inch wheel bike, the 27.5 wheel platform is excellent. It's gonna help you with rollover, as well as give you a little bit more speed than the 26 inch wheel. Um, other features that we really like that are great uh, is the fact that it has disc brakes. Hydraulic disc brakes are one of those higher quality items and features on bikes that you normally see uh, at your local bike shop on the you know, $800 and up bikes. Um, and this comes with those features at a less price point. So it's uh, equipped with the Alhanga uh, hydraulic disc brakes. And then moving on to the drivetrain, it's equipped with a three by eight drivetrain. There's a lot of mixed reviews on, you know, one by versus three by. Three by is a great place to start because it gives you an idea of how to shift or how to get used to shifting if you're just getting into the sport. Um, plus it gives you that extra gear range to where if you drop a front chain ring to get down to that next gear, you can almost just climb that, uh, that hill with ease and no issues. So it's three by up front and eight speed out back. Having that extra gear out back gives us that extra range to climb. Uh, we really appreciate that on this. And not to mention it's equipped with the Shimano Altus components. So all of that is rolled into a great package um, as well as the head tube angle. The head tube angle is kind of a mix. It's, it's still a little on the steep side, but it's going to get you to, to feel a little bit more slack. Um, it is a great option because it's going to give you that versatility so not only can you take this bike out on the town for the weekend or go for a 15 or 20 mile ride on pavement, you can take it on the dirt trail. Same bike, so you get the best of both worlds um, to where it's versatile. You know, it's not only a downhill bike or, or something like that. You can use it in more than one situation. Um, we are really happy with how wide the bars are. Um, the bars are nice and wide that come from the factory that are kind of an in-between. Um, it's not your, you know, 800 millimeter wide bar, but it's going to be something that's wider than you're used to. Um, as far as the shifters, the shifters are a very nice, fast shifting where you're going to use your index fingers to shift as well as thumb. Um, so it makes it really nice. Uh, other than that, it's weight. The weight of the bike is great. Um, and we are aware that this is comparable to the Giant Talon um, or the Trek Marlin. So if you're looking at those, don't look past the Cascade 4. Uh, if you look up some of the reviews, the Cascade 4 exceeds those two bikes that I just mentioned in some of those categories. Um, but do your research. If you're interested in something like this, it is upgradable. You can upgrade the drivetrain. You could change it to a one by. You could change the Suntour coil fork to an air fork. It's a straight steer, so there's lots of options, but uh, we really are happy with this. All right, so as far as this Polygon, when it comes back, 
from when our customers ride this for the first time. They're surprised at how well it rides, how well it handles, how stable it is, how great it shifts, and how well everything feels underneath them while they're enjoying the trails. We encourage you to head to our website, pertzbikerentals.com, if you want to check and view our full line of our Polygon bikes. Not only that, if you're looking into getting into the sport, for example, if you want to break the mold and you're getting out of road biking or something and you want to try a hardtail or you're interested in a giant or a trek ride this first a lot of the bike shops nowadays don't have rentals some do maybe they do in your area if you're visiting us get on this rent it for a, a day a half day multi days get used to it before you make that investment we really like this bike we think you will too so we just wanted to say thank you for watching um, this is it for our bike review today. We've got a full line of the Polygon that we're going to be reviewing. Um, we've got a couple in store for you, so please subscribe and, and take a look at these as we really move through what Polygon has to offer. Thank you.